Hey Facebook, welcome to Tuesdays with the Gale. I'm coming to you live this early evening from the YMCA. So it might get a little noisy over here. Uh, all YMCAs are very special because they all have special programs and great activities for families and kids. So my son right now, and I'll show you here, is uh, a part of flag football. Uh, they also have soccer practice going on and they have uh, basketball and volleyball as well. So my son has been involved with the YMCA sports since he was about six, seven years old. Uh, he's done a variety. He loves flag football. He's done soccer. He did co-ed volleyball once upon a time because he wanted to play with the girls. And... Um, and he's now doing the season flag football. So this is our fall sport. Winter sport, I try to get him into basketball. And then his spring sport is typically um, baseball. There are two girls playing on his team for football. They won their first game. They had their first game um, Friday. So every Tuesday night is practice. Friday are their games. Um, but. Look up the closest YMCA to you. It's not too late. You can always see if there's any spots available for sports this fall. If not, go ahead and get information to get them uh, signed up in the winter. So um, it's good to keep them active. <laughs> we finished about an hour of math homework and now uh, we are here so he can get some energy out so he loves it. So I'm gonna show you this facility here. Again, I'm at the YMCA. The one I am in particularly is uh, the one off of Cypress went in 249. So this is the youth center here. And this did act as the main center for a while because this particular YMCA, and I'm walking towards the actual building. This is a huge campus, a YMCA campus. This particular YMCA had been shut down for close to two years due to Hurricane Harvey. Uh, this YMCA took in a lot of water and there was a ton of damage done uh, during Harvey. So the, I'm approaching the main building right now that was just opened a few months ago. I uh, believe they just opened this past May, April, May. Before then, this was the building. This is just the youth center, but this was the building that was acting as the main gym facility. Uh, which is still like a nice size uh, area or nice size building, but the main building is 10 times bigger. Um, they have a garden out here, so you can come and it's a community garden. So again, I'm at the YMCA off of Cypress Wood and 249. Now my monthly fee is only a hundred bucks a month and that includes me and my son and we can come to the YMCA anytime we want, work out in the uh, gym. There's an indoor pool and an outdoor pool, but the outdoor pool is closed until next year. The indoor pool stays open year round. Gaga ball for those of you who know what Gaga ball is. And if you do not know what Gaga ball is, you are too old. My son taught me all about Gaga Ball years back. There is such a thing. Outdoor basketball court in the distance. It's hard to see, but there is a rock wall. There's an activity center here. They do offer summer camps out here, and this is where they typically have their summer camps. But as you can see, people just come and play. So my son will come out here sometimes and play. They do have indoor basketball courts as well. And then there's canoeing, because there is, I mean, we're right by um, one of the bayous here. That's the bayou that flooded and flooded into the building over here. So this building was flooded. I mean, the whole YMCA building was flooded. So the building is in the distance, but I'm gonna show you the bayou that had over flooded during Harvey and caused all the damage. So of course, 
YMCA built or remodeled um, their facility, their indoor facility, top notch. So there's wonderful machines, equipment. Um, so although we were without our YMCA for close to two years, they did reopen and it is now fully functioning, fully operable, no issues anymore. Uh, during Amelda, everything was pretty cool. It looks like they're doing some sort of drainage system, hopefully maybe to prevent flooding in the future. So I'm walking around towards the back. Um, so some of the classes they offer that you would be surprised, cooking classes. So if you have a teen or young one who wants to learn how to cook or you want them to learn how to cook, they have cooking classes every Thursday at this particular canoeing at this particular YMCA. There are also adult cooking classes. Um, so if you and some friends want to come, let me know. It's so usually, I think, at 6 or 7. They have them here. It is free. You just have to sign up. So teen cooking classes and adult cooking classes. I'm thinking I'm going to have my son go to a teen cooking class so he can learn how to cook some stuff. So that's a little known fact that not many, many people know that there are teen cooking classes here. All right, this is the outdoor pool. Again, this closed already last weekend. It was the last weekend until um, summertime that it'll be open again with the sliding pools. Here, looks like they're doing some drainage work or some work here, so hopefully there will not be another flood or when it does, the water comes in, it doesn't get as bad. But these are walking trails here and running trails. Looks like they completely drained the water here. <clears throat> so I'm just giving y'all a quick tour this wonderful Tuesday of this area YMCA. I encourage you to contact your local YMCA. They have a lot of great programs for families, for youngsters, whether it's sports, cooking, uh, gymnastics. I think there's even some dancing at some of them for your young people that like to dance. Um, and then there's stuff for adults, the older generation as well. My parents have been to this one. So as a member, I can have guests. That's 249. I can have guests come uh, on my pass. So my parents get to come on my pass three times. So they'll bring my uh, son. My son gets to have a guest as well. So he can have three other guests on his pass. So if you know of anybody who is in the YMCA and you're interested in finding out more, you just let them know that you're interested and they'll give you that information. So it's going to get a little noisy now. So we're walking up by where 249 is. And we're coming up to the indoor pool. I always encourage people to find out what's in the area. YMCA is a good way to have that happen. When we, when I lived in the Heights, my son was part of the YMCA off of 35th Street. It's still there. And it may look like it's a small facility when you're just driving by. But if you go further back, you realize that it's quite big. They've got a lot of fields around back. They have an outdoor pool as well. This is the indoor pool. Lifeguards at the YMCA's are amazing. Still walking on this path. And then they have this outdoor play area for kids. Great daycare, or yeah, I guess child care. So you can take the class, you can take classes and then leave your child at the child care and then pick them up after you're done exercising. Again, this is no extra charge. Child care is free. Child care comes with or is included with your membership. So there's no excuses not to work. 
my child's too old for child care. <laughs> but this is where he used to come and they have a basketball court there. So he used to love playing basketball there. But he'd come here while I took my classes. Now he's with me in all the classes and in the gym, in the machines, because his goal is to bulk up. So that's child care. Plenty of parking. So uh, every YMCA, like I said, has unique programs. And some are standard programs no matter where you go. So I really encourage you to look up the YMCA that's closest to you. Again, I'm at the one off of Cypress Wood in 249. Look up the one that's closest to you. See what programs they offer. It's very inexpensive to become a member. There's so many benefits, so much that you could take advantage of um, being part of a YMCA. I mean, they give you so much back in return over and above what your monthly um, payment is. I don't know if they'll let me videotape inside, but I'm gonna try to sneak inside because I wanna show you something. They have a water line of how high the water came in during Harvey. They've got karate too. So this is the water line for Harvey. So that's the floor. That's the water line. We all remember the date. I don't know if it's Can you pick up the speed? Yeah, March 2019 is when they reopened. So yeah, just a few months ago. So it kind of puts it in perspective how bad um, it was during Harvey. And that's a pretty cool reminder of how big or how high the water was and what they've done to remodel and get it up and running again. Of course, there's always free coffee, a prayer wall. workout equipment and then we find ourselves back in the parking lot it's a real family friendly place a lot of support can be found here so when my son even when my son was not uh, 10 years old so there's a program for 10 and 11 year olds where you can um you can bring your 10 or 11 year old to the YMCA and they'll take a class. It's a really short class. Um, well, they'll learn like the muscle, about the, the their muscles and they'll learn how to work out, how to warm up, how to use the machines. And then they get a pass, like a blue band. So 10 and 11 year old, they have to take the class, pass the test. They learn the whole cycle of warm up, um, working out like on the machines and cardio on the machines and winding down or stretching afterwards. And so um, he did that when he was 10, as soon as he was 10. So he was able to use the machines in the cardio room for the last couple years. Now he's graduated up to this level uh, and he doesn't need his band anymore. They'll usually ask to see, it's like a, for him it was a blue band they don't ask to see it anymore. This is a two-story facility, so it looks like it's just one floor, but it's two floors. Second floor is where they have most of the classes. There's a huge uh, indoor track. It's on the second floor where you can run, and there's an in indoor track. Of course, we just walked the outdoor track, and they have um, large indoor basketball courts as well. So we basically have made one loop around so on this Tuesday, I just want to encourage you 
and your family or just you if you are single without a family to be part I mean this is a great way to meet other single folks you know what I mean <laughs> um, and then if you do have kids it's just a way for them to come out and get away from technology and get to move in and be an active so yeah the water line was high on this one too in this building and then we're coming into the darkness but where I'm walking to is back towards the outdoor fields where practice is at that's also where his games are and the fields that we saw there's also walking trails bike trails that will take you into the woods that we see here probably not a good idea to go into the woods at night um, during the day yes not at night so you have any questions about getting involved any programs how I can help you connect I'm a realtor, I help sell houses, but I'm also um, someone that helps you in the areas you live in, just finding your way around. As a realtor, I try to know uh, areas and places and events that's happening. For example, this weekend is the Greek Festival. Opa! Starts actually Thursday, last day, Sunday. So it's important to know what's going on in the city, especially if you're new to the city or new to certain areas of town. So feel free to contact me, DM me for more information on anything that's happening in and around town. Hope to see you. I'll be at the Greek Festival this Saturday. And um, YMCA, I'm here usually two, three times a week, either for my son's practice games or to work out garden again so I made one loop around got my little workout on while I showed y'all some of the benefits and what to expect at your different YMCA's and it's refreshing to see a lot of youngsters here so my son comes with me to the gym and he works out on the machines and there's other kids there working out on the machines like his age he's 12 years old but it's good to encourage um health because health is wealth so as long as you have your health everything else is good so these are the fields where we started earlier he's warming up right now then he'll start his football drills again they've got soccer going on so the fields are here but they also go past there so it's like never ending I'm not gonna walk all the way down there but there's another parking area in the distance it's not lit but they have that open during football games so they can have a lot of games playing at once yes they play in the rain outdoors they do not play in thunder and lightning so this past Friday evening it did rain in and around Houston and rained over here he still played in the rain and his team won that's them over there in the back the distance so with that said I might be a sweaty mess now but <laughs> thank you for joining me on these Tuesdays with Gail I appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what I went over today the YMCA's programs they offer cooking classes for teens and adults uh, or anything else let me know my kid my son has been involved again since he was really little it's helped me keep my health it's helping him keep his health um, it's something to do and bond with your child uh, and then it's also awesome to cheer them on work his butt out. Uh, any other questions you have in and around town? Greek festival this weekend, uh, midnight rumble or moonlight ramble 
is happening uh, October 19th. So a lot of fun stuff is starting to happen. Get outdoors, get moving, connect with your family, and have a great Tuesday.